Welcome to episode 292 of the RV Man LP Exhibition. We are still continuing on Taukaka storyline. And needless to say, after the ridiculousness we saw in the last part, well, it only gets more ridiculous from there. Not to mention, we still have lose to wins to do, so we might as well get the lose to wins out of the way first. And then the alternate pass. Alright, let me just be blunt. This isn't really an alternate path to say the least. More along the lines of you're still going to be fighting Ragna. Except there's just one small problem as you'll see when the fight starts. It's my Mew! Whoa! <laughs> That's my line. You're a run from the Kaka clan, ain't ya? You got some nerve sneaking up behind me to steal my food. Oh, my strategy played out perfectly. What a sneaky man. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're not gonna get away from this. Meow! I guess a couple of hits isn't enough to stop you. <laughs> You're an annoying one. Now, about that difference. Well, might as well get that out of the way. You see, the difference between the first option and the second? Look at Tao's health. Tao is at 30%. So, at least it'll make it easier for me to lose the win. So, yeah. Just saying that losing the win has never been easier when the game gives you options that pretty much docks your health as badly as it does. And I'm pretty sure somebody else also has that ordeal happening later on. I just can't remember who. But somebody else has that ordeal happening later on. But for right now, folks, whether you beat this half or you beat the other path, it doesn't matter. It's still going to lead straight to the, uh... It's still going to lead straight to the last scene from the last part. But oh, right in the face. Not cool, man. But you're still my homie. Meow. This isn't going the way I pictured in my head. Meow. I can't go all out when I'm starving. What, are you that hungry? Whoa, are you a psychic or something, white guy? Your whole body is screaming I am hungry. You could have just asked. I would have let you have a bite. Really, really, white guy? Yeah, really. So let go of me. And don't drool on me. Listen, just have a seat over there. The meat ain't going anywhere. Yay! Meat, meat, meat! Why are you so well prepared? <laughs> Jeez, how hungry were you? Are you even gonna chew that? Ew! That was some meat! Mew! Tao usually forgets lots of things, but I won't forget this debt ever, I think. I don't need your thanks. Just go already if you're done. I might just as well do that! Meow! Thanks, good guy! I seriously can't believe she literally just went home after that. Well, she is a dumbass. Alright, now it's time for Mecha Tager. Even though it's Iron Tager, but still, it doesn't matter, it's Tager. Whatever the case, folks. Um... This is a battle that I should not have to lose, but unfortunately I do for the sake of getting 100%. Meow. I can't believe I lost to this weirdo. Meow. This one is a sample. I'll retrieve you now. 
Did Tao just get abducted? What the hell? Oh, wait, and this is also a, a reference to RoboKey from Guilty Gear. God damn it, I hate that character so much. Well, it is Attack of the Clones, and sadly we're going to have to lose to win to the clone. And I also keep forgetting from the looks of the uh, actual life bar that this is a lose to win. So let's get that done and over with. Anytime now, try to put me down. I don't want to beat you. I really don't because I've already shown what happens when I do. So, yep, there it is, right there. On with the cutscene. You are pretty strong for a fake. Meow. Tow, 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 tow. Last time, we chose the second option and skipped the fight with Rachel. And now, we're going to choose the first option to fight Rachel. Well, at least it's not unlimited. Meow, meow, meow! Bring it on, meow! The nerve! How dare you trespass in my garden! You grate on the nerves. Clearly, you require training. Fire of the skies, to me! <laughs> oh dear, that looks rather well done. Perhaps I overdid it. I prefer medium rare. Mmm, smells like burning. Oh my, that's pretty rough. You have my sympathy. <laughs> What a scary she-devil! Meow! That was such a cold-blooded thing to do! She-devil? Princess? Uh, are you mad? It would appear the flambe wasn't enough for you. Perhaps a sauté will shut you up. And now we face off against Rachel. Rachel, I don't know how to explain, but her matchup with Talkaka is 50-50. On one hand, Talkaka can gain the offensive strategy and also can lay down a smackdown if need be. On the other hand, George the 13th. You know, I am getting sick of time being electrocuted by that fucking frog. Ah. But whatever the case, folks, it's all a matter of RNG. Either Rachel will have the advantage or Talkaka will have the advantage, provided how good you are. If you're semi-decent at best like me, well then, you're probably going to have a crapshoot fight. Whether you win or the computer wins. And I, fortunately, I screwed up on that distortion so, oops, my bad. I'll get her. I'll get her, actually. I've already shown off the actual heat for Talkaka in the last part. So, yeah. Oh, and I can't believe I just got caught by that. So I don't have to worry too much about showing off the actual heat. No, if anyone's actual heat I would rather show off, it's Tager's. That's all I need to say. It's pretty cool. But we'll get to that point when we get there. At least not until the next after the next part. <laughs> that was fun! Meow! Finished. Then perhaps you should leave. Yeah, I will! Meow! I wish to change and have a cup of tea. Falkenhine? How may I serve you, Madam Rachel? 
This feline assailant has exhausted me. Please fetch a fresh set of clothes and... Wait. You are looking for Ragna. Meow? Ragna? Ragna? Oh, yeah! I am! Meow! Rabbit person, do you know who Ragna is? If you do, please tell me where he is! Meow! Oh, yes. I believe I saw him over there. Princess, that way is... Over there, huh? Thanks! Meow! Oh, goodness. You hit her right out of the yard. Wow. Hats off to you, princess. You're so clever. What did you say? N nothing Such pedestrian interactions are quite tiring. At least these common people have kept me entertained. Now, Valkenheim, my tea and clothes, if you don't mind. As you wish, Madam Rachel. Gee. Take 100 laps around the garden. Huh? What for? I grow bored. You will entertain me. No! That's not entertaining at all! Falkenheim just literally tossed Talcaca several feet in the air. God damn! Ouch. I think my butt got squished. Where am I? Meow. Excuse me? You there! Where did you come from? Uh, who are you? Meow? I'm Lieutenant Noel Vermillion from the NOL. And you are? Tao is Tao Kaka. Meow! Tao Kaka? Huh. That's a name you don't hear every day. Yeah, I'll see you around then. Hey, wait. Um, the NOL is currently searching for a vicious criminal, Ragna the Blood Edge. Do you know anything about this Ragna the Blood Edge? Blood Edge? What's that? Meow! Let's see. He's a man with a face like this. Oh, I know him! He gave me some food! Really? So, he isn't too far away from here. I must go capture him immediately. Meow, meow? Why are you trying to capture a good guy? Good guy? That's not right. You said he gave you some food, but what's your relationship with Ragna the Blood Edge? Something's fishy here. Tao isn't fishy. Meow. <sighs> Not only are your breasts flat, but you're also boring. have absolutely nothing to do with this! I'll have you arrested for contempt! Huh? You want to play with Tao, Meow? In that case, I'm all for it, Meow! Oh dear lord, you just had to make fun of her breast. Well, might as well get this one over with. And sadly, thanks to their encounter, Noelle will forever be known as Lacking Lady. Oh my goodness. Poor Noelle. Her poor breast ended up being the butt of everybody's jokes. And considering the fact that she tried to shoot Bang Shishigami, and also now she's trying to subdue Tao, 
I think it goes without saying. And stop mocking her breast. That's all that goes without saying. Because she is armed with guns, so yeah, the last thing you need is for her to shoot you. I'm pretty sure, no, actually no, I'm positive that she actually does after Bang's uh, win quote. Because he's like, wow, for a little boy, you're really tough. I didn't mean it! What are you doing? <laughs> Something like that. But still. Poor Noelle. She just goes through a lot. And let me just... Let me just tell you right now. Noelle, despite her being just as bad off as Ratna, at least for the most part, she doesn't have to worry about turning into some monstrosity like Ragna does. For the most part. Tell one now, but I'm pretty exhausted and starving. Meow. Plus, I'm getting sleepy. Meow. What should I do about this girl? I'm in a pickle. I may have overreacted, so I don't feel right about taking her in. But she'll be blocking traffic. Or she might catch a cold if I leave her lying here like this. I guess I have no choice. One, two... Huh! <sighs> <sighs> that was quite a workout. She should wake up soon and go home. I have to go back to work, too. Are my breasts that small? N not that it matters. Their shape isn't that bad. But I do wish they were bigger. What should I do? Should I ask that female doctor? No, I don't have the guts to do that. Wait, I remember Makoto said something like, If you have a boy massage them, they'll get bigger. <gasps> no, 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 no! What am I thinking? Maybe she should take Makoto's advice. So long as you avoid any black nights in the near future. Hey, kid. You can't sleep here. You'll catch a cold. <laughs> it seems like I don't have much choice. I didn't want to resort to this, kid, but, uh... I got some food here for you. Food? Food? Where is it? Sorry to do this to you, but there's no food. What, what, what the hell? That's one cruel lie, meow! I'm telling you, I've never been insulted this much in my entire life! Said I was sorry. What more do you want? Cat person! It's the cat person! Cat person! Long time no see, cat person! Tell so happy to see! What do you want me to do? Happy to see you too, but I got no time for playing. Huh? Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! Come on, kid. Being selfish ain't right. I'm sorry, meow. 
I shouldn't have acted that way. Ah, hell. Don't get all bent out of shape. You're a good kid. How are things back in the village? Any news? Well, it hasn't been easy, meow. Whenever this weird black squiggly thing appears, the people of Kaka disappear. Meow. It's a pain in the neck for everyone. Meow. Why don't you come back to the village, cat person? Everybody is waiting for you. Meow. So now I got some other stuff needs doing. Look, kid, you got the power to protect the village. You can't keep depending on an old man like me. Tao protects the village now? Yep, I reckon you're ready. If you say so, cat person, I'll try my best. Meow! Yeah, that's the spirit, kid. So, there's some sort of black squiggly critter giving the village trouble. Hmm. Well, if I happen to run into it, I'll be sure to give it what for. But you ought to be heading back to the village, kid. They need your help. Heard rumors there's some dangerous people around these parts. Tao strong, so don't worry about me, cat person. But I'll return to the village now if you say so. Meow. And I do say so. You say hello to the folks back home for me, all right? Next time you and I cross paths, maybe there'll be time for a little playing. Promise? Meow? I'll see you around, cat person. Whoa, whoa! Careful there, kid. Tao isn't that dumb, you know, cat person. Smart meow. <laughs> if I jump off here, it'd take me directly to the village. Meow. Are you sure you want to jump off? There's no problem at all, cat person. I'll talk to you later. Meow. I'll be arriving at the village soon. Meow. Kaka has returned to the village quickly. Quite a racket for such a small kid. Ah, well, don't rightly think there's much that can hurt her. Wait, all that for appearance for Jubei? Okay. I thought my butt was gonna split four ways. Meow. Huh? Where am I now? Who's there? The black squiggly thing? The bad guy who attacks the village? You must be a wanted criminal, meow. I'll capture you and claim the bounty. Everybody in the village will be happy. <laughs> it's impossible. Do me laugh, I eat you. Eat, Tao? Meow. Don't be ridiculous, meow. You're the enemy of Kaka. I'll eliminate you right here once and for all. Meow. Oh, God, not this guy again. Well, let me just break you to TLDR. The first option, you immediately fight him. The second option would get you into a cutscene, which will drop your health down to 30%. Yeah, he's the other fight that does this. So on that note... Rebel. The next time I actually go on a lose to win, I just need to show off the lose to win because it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you're still going to have to face off against Arakune. And that's all there is to it. 
So with that said, let's beat him down since he's the public enemy number one of all the Kaka clan. And this is the normal ending. After all, one of them anyway. Because the other one had Bang Shishigami. <clears throat> but Arakune would most definitely be the rival that Tao Kaka had to fight. And it's due to the fact that the Kaka Clinton, I mean, the Kaka clan and the Kaka kittens are normally hunted by this thing, as you saw in his uh, story mode. Honest to God, we don't need him hunting down any more Kakas. It's sort of like Vegeta going into the village of Namix that was never revived, by the way. Still cruel and unusual. So on that note, let's just... I was going to say take care of him, but he does that. Stupid butthole blaster. Go to hell, Arakune. I never want to see you again. You know who's the man now? You stupid black squiggly thing. Meow? You don't even have energy left to talk back, huh? <laughs> meow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, squiggly. Because Tao is such a sweet kaka, I'll let you go for meow. But if you don't want to get hurt again, you'd better stay away from kaka. Meow. Oh. Ha ha ha! I'm sure that squiggly thing won't bother us again. Meow. It's all thanks to Tao. Meow. Tao's great. Please, somebody praise me. Wait, there's no one around. Meow. By the way, where am I? How am I supposed to go home? Meow. Hey, Tao! Can you hear me? Oh, my little one. I can hear you just fine. Meow. Grab that rope! We'll pull you up! You can pull me now! Meow! All right! Here we go! Ready? Pull! Pull! The village is finally at peace. I'm speechless. Meow. Uh-huh. We don't need to worry anymore. Meow. Nothing to worry about. Meow. Let's all go home to the village. Meow. Elder, what's going on here? Oh, Tao, Lychee brought us a bunch of food today. We're about to dig in now. <laughs> oh, Tao starving. Meow. They all look so good. <laughs> Gee, you haven't changed a bit. Long time no see, Tao. How have you been? Oh, booby lady, hang on a second while I handle this meat bun. Meow. <laughs> they are as bouncy as always. Meow. I'm impressed, booby lady. N knock it off, Tao. Kitties, why don't you call everyone so we can have a meal together? Yes, yes ma'am! Ma'am!
Sure wouldn't mind seeing days like this a bit more often. Farewell, folks. Until we meet again. gave us an assignment. Mew. I can't eat anymore. Mew. She's asleep. Yeah, she's asleep. What should we do now? What should we do? It's a peaceful day. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Talkaka has gone to sleep. At least it's not some weird, crazy advertisement for a movie that's not going to exist. But nonetheless, we'll finish up the rest of Talkaka in episode 293. This is RFMan985. Pete's out, and yeah, this is just as long as Ragnar Noel's. See you guys next time.